to hashtag say my name April collected video project. This is a student project of UTSC Anthropology from a course we offer to students in the summer of 2020, Introduction to Anthropology, Society, Culture, and Language. During this course, we talk about how our names and naming practices are closely related to our identity. For that discussion, we read the wonderful article entitled, They Can Learn to Say My Name, Redistributing Responsibility for Integrating Immigrants to Canada, written by the wonderful linguistic anthropologist, Dr. Karen Panizzi at the Department of Anthropology of the University of Western Ontario. In the class assignment, I asked every one of my students to make a short video to teach us how to say their name correctly, how to write their name in their native language, and what are the wrong ways to pronounce their names in multicultural Canada. And that is where our collective video project comes from. Um, I would really love to thank all the students who have agreed to participate in this collective project. And now we are going to make this video public to raise awareness of the importance of speaking each other's names correctly in multicultural Canada. Again, I would love to thank all of the students who have actively participated in this course during the pandemic. I would also love to thank all the wonderful TAs who have worked so much and so hard for this course. And finally, I would love to thank the Department of Anthropology at University of Toronto, Scarborough. And our message in this video to you is that you can learn to say our names correctly. So this is how I write my name, Ming Ren Zhang in English, and this is how I write it in Mandarin Chinese. And as you might have already noticed, in English we put la our last name in the end. Uh, so my name is Ming Ren Zhang. But in Mandarin Chinese, we put our family name in the beginning. So when people call me in China, they would say Zhang Ming Yuan. And uh, the characters here, uh, Ming Yuan, in my given name, they have meanings. So the second character, Ming, here, it means bright. And then the third character, Yuan, it means the source of water. And there are two mistakes that people tend to make when they uh, try to pronounce my name here in Canada. So first of all, they tend to shorten my uh, first name as Ming. So they would try to pronounce, they would try to pronounce it, but it's not perfect. Sometimes people would like to shorten it as Ming, uh, which is actually wrong because as you can see, Ming is only one character in my given name. So if you shorten my name as Ming, uh, you're actually only saying one character of my name and um, that's not my name. The other mistake that people uh, tend to make is, you know, when they try to pronounce my last name, there is, it's spelled as Z-H-A-N-G and there's an H in there. In English, H tends to be a silent letter here, uh, but there is a difference in Chinese language between Z-A-N-G and Z-H-A-N-G. So when it's spelled as uh, my last name with the H, it makes a J sound like the J in George. So it's actually pronounced as Zhang instead of Zen. Um, and that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching and thanks for making the effort to pronounce my name correctly. See you. Hello everyone. I'm here to tell you my name, how it's pronounced and what it means. I am African. I'm from the Western part of Africa. Nigeria to be precise, and I'm from the southern part of Nigeria. I am from Delta State, and we are the Ninja Deltas, so Ninja Delta people. And my name is Jewel Ogenefega Odoba. So in my birth certificate, the name that's on my birth certificate right now is Jewel Odoba. Jewel, as we know, means precious stones something precious my last name odoba means something big something great my middle name now comes from my parents and my grandparents what they call me 
when I go to my village or when I'm with my family. They call me Ogene Vega. So it's there's a break in between, but it's usually pronounced as one word. Ogene Vega. The H is subtle, so it's it's not a harsh H, it's just Ogene Vega. Usually my grandparents call me that and it's shortened as a nickname and they will call me Fega. Ogene Fega means God. Ogene means God. Fega means worthy of praise. Together it means God is worthy of praise. When they shorten it to just Fega, it means God, it means worthy of praise. So Fega, worthy of praise. Ogene Fega, God is worthy of, worthy of praise. And also my grandparents and my mom calls me Juju, which is shortened from Jewel. To be honest, I don't know how that comes. I think it's just a pronunciation of Jewel. And then they say Juju, just not to say the full word. And now my friends adopted to it and call me Juju sometimes. My sister, my siblings, people call me Juju if not Jewel. And my name, my name, my full name becomes Juo Ogenefega Odoba. Juo Ogenefega Odoba. I'm glad I could teach you something today on how my name is spelt and pronounced correctly. And I look forward to you pronouncing it right. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. Today I will be making a video to explain to you what my name is, what my name means, how to write my name in my mother language, and how to pronounce my name correctly. So my name is Denise Bash Osh. This is how you write my name in English, and this is how you write my name in Farsi, or Persian, which is my mother language. Denise Bash Osh. My first name, Denise, it actually comes from Turkish origin, and it means ocean. And in Turkish, you write my name just like you do in English. Denise. My last name, Bash Osh, it comes from Persian origin or Farsi and it means to be happy. And the way you write my name in Farsi is like this, Bash Osh. And as you noticed, might have noticed that in Farsi we use Arabic letters and we write starting from right to left, which is different from English because we write starting left to right. So there's different ways that people have pronounced my name incorrectly. So with my first name, people have pronounced my name as Deni, Deni, Dennis or Denez. However, the way I like my name to be pronounced in English is Denise. However, in Turkish or Farsi, they pronounce my name as Deniz. So this E here is very prominent in Turkish or Persian pronunciation. My last name, Bash Osh, in English, a lot of people pronounce it as Bishash. So this A is not very prominent in uh, English pronunciation. However, in Farsi or Persian pronunciation, we really like to make this A here very prominent. So thank you. This is how you pronounce my name, Deniz Bashash. Thank you for watching this video and making an effort to pronounce my name. Hello correct. everyone, I hope you guys are staying healthy and doing well. In this video, I would like to share with you what my name is, what does it mean, and how to pronounce it correctly. My first name is Badr, and my last name is Shaheen. Both names are in Arabic names, and as you can see, in Arabic we write from right to left, which is the opposite of English. This is Badr, and this is Shaheen. My first name Badr means full moon and my last name Shaheen refers to one type of falcons. So if you want, you can just call me moon falcon. <laughs> okay, let's move to the last part of the video. One of the most incorrect pronunciations of my name, especially in Canada, is Badir. I hope this video was joyful and helpful and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Hello, my name is Raghav Puri and I am from India. This is how you write my name. This is in English and this is in Hindi. Uh, Hindi is also the national language of India and my mother tongue. We call it Matra Bhasha, where Matra stands for mother and Bhasha stands for language. 
just as in English, the first name comes first and the last name comes last. This is my la first name in Hindi and this is my last name in Hindi. My name means Lord Ram, who is one of the gods in the Hindu religion. Many times people tend to mispronounce my name as Ragav or Ragav or Ragav and um, often they also shorten it to Rag or Rag or Raga. Uh, as many people do and uh, as we know a rag is a rough used cloth which is uh, absolutely not acceptable for my last name um, people tend to generally call it puri but it's actually pronounced as puri and um, once I've also been called puri but um, in a try or two people generally get the hang of it thank you hi everybody my name is Wemda and I wrote it out here so this is how you would say my name in English Wemda Hussein. Hussein is my last name, and this is how you say it in Arabic. It's Wamba Hussein. Um, in English, we write it, our text from left to right. So my first name would be the first phrase written, and our last name would be second. However, in Arabic, we write from right hand to left, so it's the opposite. And um, in English, it's pronounced Wemda, but in the correct pronunciation, in Arab, in, which is in Arabic, is Wamba. It's because I. It's because in the W and E. People would read it as we, but in the Arabic translation, the first um, letter it carries um, the wow phrase, so it would be wum, and then this one is like duh, like duh, so it's a wum ba. Um, and my name means lightning in the Arabic dialect where I'm from, and I'm from Sudan. But depending on the regions, and there are different type of Arabic dialects in um, Middle, East, Middle Eastern countries or East African countries. Um, Wumda has different meanings. It can mean just light, it can mean sparkle, it could mean um, sunshine, sun rays. It could also mean smile, and it can also mean um, wink in Moroccan languages. Um, and in Sudanese Arabic, um, lightning means how the angels would communicate with one another and their language that they use. So by definition, theoretically, my name actually means the language of angels, but I just say lightning for short. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Bye. Hi guys, I would like to explain what my name is, how to pronounce my name, and what does it mean. This is how I write my name, Hong Shen Luo in English, and this is how I write it in simplified Chinese, Luo Hong Shen. And as you can notice, in English we put last name at the end, but in Chinese we put last name at the beginning. Talking about my first name, Hong Shen, it can be written as uh, two different characters, which has the exact same pronunciation. And these two characters means Red Wind, which is from Chinese chess that is a, na that is a game that I played when I was little. I always like to play on the red side and I wish I can win. That's how I get my first name. I barely find any people pronounce my uh, first name wrong, it's just Hong Shen. However, I found a lot of people people pronounce my last name wrong as they usually pronounce it as either Lao as if it's the first three characters in the word loud L-O-U-D or they just simply pronounce it as Lu as always silent. One way that I find that can help you pronounce my last name correctly is first you pronounce L-U as Lu and then you put the O sound at the end so it becomes Luo and you smoothen it it becomes Luo. This is my name Luo Hongsheng. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to be telling you what my name is, what it means, and the common ways it's mispronounced. This is how you write my name. My first and only language is English. I would pronounce this as Michelle Ramnerine. As for my first name, it's of French origin, and it means who is like God, whereas my last name is of Indian origin, and it means pleasing. In terms of my first name, it's not commonly mispronounced. However, if you are French, you're most likely to say Michel instead of Michel. My last name is found in countries such as Guyana and Trinidad. However, it's usually spelt like this. As you can see, the A is dropped in the N and there's only an I. This is pronounced Ramner Rhyme. People who are familiar with this last name often overlook the A in my last name and they mispronounce it as Ramner Rai. This is incorrect, and it should be pronounced Ramner Rai. Thank you for watching. That's all for the video, and thank you for taking the effort to pronounce my name correctly.
Hi everyone, um, welcome to my video about um, my name, um, the different ways to write it in different languages, what it means, and common mispronunciations. Um, so my name is Sahana Sony, that's how we say it in English. Um, and this is the Hindi translation of it and the Punjabi translation of it. Um, my name means, in Hindi it means, my first name means patience, my last name means love. Um, in Punjabi, the my first name is another name for the goddess of Lakshmi, which is the goddess of wealth. Um, and my last name means beautiful. Um, in English, my name means patience and my last name means beautiful. Um, some common mispronunciations of my name are, um, a lot of people say Sahana with an emphasis on the A, the second A. Um, and I do get, uh, Sohana from time to time. Um, I also, my last name tends to be spelled with a Y, not an I. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching. Hello, uh, my name is Yuha Kiyoda. Uh, this is my submission for the hashtag say my name video project. Uh, let's start with something really simple. How do you say my name in either English or French? And this will be it. Uh, notice how my uh, given name is my first name while my uh, family name is my last name. And we'll get to that later. So uh, my mother tongue is Japanese. So both my parents were Japanese immigrants and uh, I also got enrolled into a Japanese school during my elementary and my middle school days. Uh, what we learned is that there are actually three ways to write in Japanese. So let's use my name as an example. So here they are. So the first one is what we call hiragana. The second one is what we call katakana. These two are like the most simplest ones that you can learn. Uh, and then the third one is what we call kanji, which was inspired by Chinese writing as well. And if you were to read this, you would actually read it as Kiyota Hyuga. Notice how my family name is not my first name, while my given name is my last name. And this is really common among Japanese and Chinese cultures. So, uh, the meaning of my given name, Hyuga, which means uh, sunshine or sunray, according to my parents. And my family name, Kiyota, actually means clean rice field. So the first uh, symbol means clean, while the second one means rice field. So you put them together and it'll be clean rice field. Right. So, mispronouncing my name, um, it's actually not that hard to mispronounce my name because it's pretty short and pretty simple. So, Kiyota, for example, you can just cut them up into syllables and you're good. But Hyuga is probably what gives people the most trouble. So, uh, you would say Hyuga, right? But there are people who would put the H and Y together and then it would say Hi Yuga. So it's Hi, U, and then GA. And then the funniest ones I've gotten so far was also Hugo, which is pretty strange because there's no O in my name. And then I guess that's how substitute teachers would look at my attendance list when uh, we were in, when I was in middle school. So uh, this is, concludes my hashtag say my name video. Uh, thank you for listening. Hope you learned something new. Hi, my name is Bahar Nurmukhadi, or if you want to pronounce it like the Canadians do, Bahar Nur. I want to talk about my first name, last name, the meaning of it, and how people tend to pronounce it. So this is how you write it in English, and this is how you write it in Farsi. It's from right to left. I know it's kind of confusing. My first name means the season spring. So um, the funny thing is, I wasn't even born in spring. I was born in November, but I guess my family just missed that season. I guess I don't know. And my last name has a meaning too. So Nirmu Tadai means um, leader. So it's kind of cool that my last name has a meaning too. And the thing about my last name is, it's really problematic whenever I want to like say it to someone that is not actually Persian. Um, the GH that you see here makes the sound good. I know it doesn't exist in English, so it's kind of hard for people to actually know like how to pronounce it. So I've tried so many times, like just getting some something out of them that sounds kind of similar. I would be even like um, happy with a silent here, Mumu Tadai, but no one gets to, like tends to get it. So um, for the sake of me and other people, we just shorten it to Mir. So that's. You see what you see right here, it's only a part of my last name. Um, to be honest, like I'm okay with it. I might actually change it to Mir like sometime along the way. Um, it's just easier for people, and I know like it's something that my ancestors, my grandparents, everyone has had, and we're known for this last name, and it has like a beautiful meaning. Mir doesn't have a meaning. The whole Mir Mokade has a meaning. But I guess since no one tends to get it. Here's the way to go. Hello everyone, my name is Guy and today I'm just gonna go talk about my real name.
My real name is Kanakom t o n g m i s a n g It is a Thai name. It is Sanskrit, written Thai right here. And many people pronounce it wrong. I mean, I don't blame them, but love for them to know how to uh, pronounce it. So it's Kanakom t o n g m i s a n g It's derived from Sanskrit. Kanakom has a meaning. It means uh, a boy that comes with the clouds and the rains. And t o n g m i s a n g my last name, it means uh, shimmering gold. So, about my nickname, people rather uh, think about it as an English nickname, but it's actually a combination of my parents' first name, Gao, which means glasses, and Chai, which means victorious. And so they combine it and make it a guy, and that's how you spell it right there. I think it's rather important for everyone to know how you pronounce your your friend or your colleague's names appropriately and correctly, even though. It might not come out as perfectly pronounced as we might call it, but it's greatly appreciated if someone uh, can actually pronounce that real name correctly and uh, efficiently. Well, thank you. So, what's up? Okay, so this is my name. Uh, in English, it's An Zhao Zhao, and in Mandarin, it's Zhao Tong. And my English name means a quick Google search. Angela is the messenger of God. And my Chinese name means the pupil of the eye, or in short, it means good eyesight. Take a moment to guess what happens. Truly not hypocritical. Truly not hypocritical, really. Um, fun fact: Tong, the character which is written um, in Mandarin, is also how you write Itomi in Japanese. Uh. What common ways to mispronounce my name? Someone called me Amanda once, and I asked them why. It was a teacher. I don't really talk back to teachers, but we 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 were cool. It was after class. He asked. He told me I looked like an Amanda, and I was like, "Why, sir?" Because I wanted to be polite. <laughs> why do I look like Amanda? And he's just like, "Because you just look like one." So Amanda it is. I've also got an Angie, which is just a cute. Sort of name for, for my name because I always wanted a nickname. Andrew just sounds appropriate, and like my Chinese name, people have like pronounced it wrong, um, and I feel like after this, they try it for the third time, they just gave up on trying it, and I just feel like they just blab- babble the rest. So. That's fun. I mean, I don't think I've said it correctly because I've been told by like other Asians that like I've said my last name wrong. It's supposed to be Zhao, not Zhao. So I don't know. <laughs> my name is a mystery. It truly is. But yeah, that's all. Peace. Hi everybody. My name is Shannon Matias, and this is how I write my name, and it's written in an English alphabet. And I am a Filipino. That's why I have a English first name and a Spanish last name. Because um, in our history, we were colonized by Spain for a thousand of years, and um, we got incorporated by um, Spanish last names. And the reason that I have an English first name is because our recent colonizer was America, and. And it become normalized for us to have an English first name, and the meaning of Shannon is God's gracious gift, and I think that's how my mom got my name from, and it also comes from、um, Shannon, uh, which is the same pronunciation but just different spelling, which is O instead of E,、um, from Shannon River.、Uh, it is an Irish name. And it means、um, old and wise, and it's commonly mispronounced as Shannon by a lot of、um, Filipinos that I know, and Shanin by people in North America. Hi, my full name is Wendy Jiawen Liu, and in Chinese, it's Liu Jiawen. And when people mispronounce my name. 
my Chinese name. They say um, Jia Wen, and that is technically wrong because in Chinese the J is more like Jia, and in English it's Jia. But I don't really mind when they mispronounce this because it's pretty similar to the Chinese pronunciation. And then when they mispronounce my last name, they either say Lu or Liu. <laughs> and I don't I don't know why I don't like it when they say Lu, but when they say Liu is fine because I guess it's because they they acknowledge that there's an I in the middle. And then my Chinese name, like my last name is first in Chinese and it's pronounced Liu Jiawen. Yeah. Hi, uh, this is my Say My Name video. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my name, a few things about it. So, my name is Kyle, my surname's Kyle, my surname's Lewis, so my full name is Kyle Lewis. It's in English, which is also my mother tongue. Uh, so I don't really have any fancy way to spell it. There's no Cyrillic characters, no kanji, nothing like that. Just the Latin alphabet. Um, additionally, my name is just kind of a blank canvas, I guess, in the fact that it doesn't really have any meaning. My parents just kind of chose it because they liked the name, they thought it sounded nice, and so it's just kind of used as something to refer to me, give me a bit of identity, I guess. Um, additionally, I've never really heard my name mispronounced because I've, uh, lived in Canada all my life, which is English-speaking, and when I've traveled abroad, I've only been to English-speaking countries, so there isn't really any language difference or anything like that to mispronounce my name. On top of that, it's two syllables, so it isn't extremely difficult to pronounce, even if foreign speakers. Uh, so I guess I'm kind of privileged in that sense, and I've never really mis heard it mispronounced. And um, I guess that's it. It's a fairly simple name with no meaning attached to it. Again, it's Kyle. Um, yeah. Hi, this is my Say My Name video. Uh, to begin, my name is Holly Yi. It's spelled H-O-O-L-Y-Y-E-E. -E. This is my Chinese name, Yu Ga Lei. So Yi and Yu are my last name in English and Chinese respectively. Um, Ga means family or home, and Lei comes from the word LASIK, which means interest. So my Chinese name essentially means bring the Yi family fortune or interest. And um, Holly has a meaning to it. My, my aunt chose this name for me because it's based on the fact that my mom is a green thumb. She loves gardening and I'm born near Christmas. So she chose to name me after the Holly flower. Um, some common ways people mispronounce my name typically come from the English name, Holly. They mispronounce it almost 80% of the time. Holy, if they're foreigners. Or Polly or Ollie, if they speak English and aren't foreigners. <laughs> um, no one really mispronounced my Chinese name because no one asked for it, so I don't really give it out. But pronouncing it correctly is very important because if you mispronounce this and say, for example, Yu Ga Lei, then Suddenly, my name isn't my name anymore. It's it means fish curry, which is actually a running joke between my friends and I because they like to laugh and they know a lot of people who mispronounce my name and they think that they're saying fish curry, but they're trying to say my name. So I think that's why it's pretty important to try to pronounce people's names right. And um, yeah, that's my same name video. Thanks. Hey everyone, my name's Ethan. Ethan Anada. I have it written here. Um, I usually go by the second one, but I'll explain the first one in a little bit. So the name Ethan originates from the Bible. My family is a Christian family, so they wanted to choose a biblical name. Uh, the name Ethan is one of the authors of the books of Psalms. It's Psalms 89. And in um, the Bible, it is recorded that Ethan is the second smartest man in the Bible. They didn't want to name me after the first smartest man in the Bible who happens to be King Solomon because he has a lot of concubines and my parents didn't want me to go down a similar path like that. So that's why they decided to name me Ethan. Um, the, first, um, the first one I have here, um, it's the, my last name is pronounced Anyada with the Enye 
on top of the N. But the thing is, um, when we immigrated to Canada, a lot of people were having trouble pronouncing the N, the N yet on top of the N. So that's why we just decided to not have it and just have it as um, the second one, which just is pronounced Anada. Um, when I was speaking to my dad, he told me that um, the first one happens to come from a Spanish origin and the second one happens to come from a Japanese origin. However, I don't really have much information on that as well. Um, so my name is just simply spelled um, E-T-H-A-N-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A -A. My last name is really easy to spell. It's just like Canada without the C. Um, a lot of the times, um, some people, most people don't usually spell my name wrong, but some common uh, ways that do, people do spell my name wrong is like, they forget the H, so it's just E-T-A-N, or um, when they like hear it, um, they say spell it with an A instead of the E, so like A-T-H-A-N or A-T-A-N. Uh, it kind of just depends on the person. Some people, um, depends on their tongue, like how they would pronounce it, and that's just kind of how they spell it out. But most of the time, it's just spelled, um, well, most of the time it is spelled properly. So yeah, uh, thanks for listening, guys. This is my name, and this is how it's spelled, and this is how I got my name. All right, take care. Bye. Hello, everyone. In this video, I would like to introduce to you about my name, the meaning of my name, how to write my name in my mother tongue, and the common wrong ways to pronounce my name. My Chinese name is Hu Yian, and my English name is Yan Hu. And... Here is how my name written in Chinese, and which is my mother tongue. And here is how my name written in English. So I'm from China, and we can clearly see that my family name, Hu here, is the first character in my Chinese name. But it's in the last position in my English name. And the second character here, Yi, uh, means happy and comfortable in Chinese language. And the third character An has a meaning of safe and sound in Chinese language. So um, with this name, my parents wish me to live a happy and safe and sound future life. So there is always one mistake. Sorry. There's always one mistake when people try to pronounce my name. Most of the time, my name will be pronounced as Hu Yi An. And the pronunciation of my family name is often not a big problem. But um, the problem is my first name Yan will always be pronounced as Yan, which uh, means only one character in Chinese language. And it means bright and colorful. Um, which is not the same meaning as my first name intended to mean. So, um, it's the end of my video and thanks for- Hey everybody, I'm Richard Adams. Um, my name is actually an English name, so I'm gonna be saying it in English. Um, this is how we write it. Uh, first name first, last name last. And, well, I'm not anything really special in this case. Last I checked, apparently Richard is supposed to be is supposed to be a name that means loyal, brave, a natural born leader. That's why there was a couple of kings named Richard. Um, Adams comes from naming, from the Bible naming of it means the son of Adam. Apparently, uh, I didn't know that until I searched it up. Actually, um, the most common ways I've noticed people mispronouncing my name would be to call me Richard or Rickard, when it's mostly just Rich Richard. E-R-D, U-R-D, that's will be the way that it ends. Uh, there's one more way that people also seem to get it wrong. It's some people call Richard Dick, which apparently came from so uh, something in English history, but I've still, nobody really seems to know where that came from, and, or at least I don't know where it came from. So yeah, nice to meet you all. Hi, I will start by saying that I have a generally easier name to pronounce than most. So I am luckier in the sense that that makes it easier for me to have a sense of belonging in new spaces. My name is Isabel Don Dirige Aquino and my native tongue is English, but my parents also speak to me in Tagalog. There is a system in Tagalog called the Babayan script, 
which was the indigenous writing system of the 16th century. So it's not commonly used anymore. Um, but I have written my last name in the script. So this is a ki no um, My name comes from the St. Isabel of France of the Catholic Church. And Aquino comes from Spanish and Italian, and Zerije also comes from Spanish. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of colonial influence on my name. Some common ways of mispronouncing my name. Um, for my first name, uh, a lot of people pronounce it as Isabella instead of Isabel. And I, maybe it's because Isabella is more common than Isabel. Um, and maybe it's also because my last name starts with an A, so they see Isabel A and just pronounce it Isabella. Um, for my last name, a lot of people will pronounce Aquino as Aquino, which is more of an Italian pronunciation, but um, we normally pronounce it like Aquino in the Philippines. And as for my other last name, Dirige, a lot of people will pronounce it as Dirige, and maybe it's because it's sort of easier to pronounce for a lot of English speakers. So thank you for putting in the effort to learn how to pronounce my name. Hi guys, my name is Eliza Shaw and this is how you write my name in English. And in Urdu, my name is written as Eliza Shaw, but starting from the right, because Urdu language starts from the right. Now, common mistakes on how people pronounce my name is a lot of people call me Eliza and honestly that's not how you pronounce my name because my name is Eliza and it changes the origin of my name because my name comes from Ali and Ali is a central figure in Shia Islam which is my religion and that's actually where my name was originated from so Eliza means the daughter of Ali so saying Eliza will mean the daughter of a lie, but that's not my name. My name's Eliza. And Shah means king. And king is Shah is also my family name, which also tells you your caste in Islam. And I think that's it. I don't think people pronounce mispronounce mistake my name for anything else. So thank you for watching my video and thank you for putting in the effort to learn my name. Hi everyone, hope you guys can see me clearly. And um, my name is Yu Chao Liang. I'm here to introduce my name and the meaning behind it. So as you can see over here, the first line uh, is the proper English way of, of writing it. So it, the order goes by uh, given name and the last name, right? So it's Yu Chao Liang. But uh, in China, we use a different order, which we have been using it for quite a long. Uh, so the letter Liang goes first. It is my last name and my father has it too. And the second letter means the universe. And the third one means to go beyond myself. This is kind of my parents' hope uh, for me to do better in the future. And oh, this is all about the meaning. Then the last line over here, this is uh, the way that I prefer my friends calling me as, whether old or new. Uh, they will call me as Will, which is shortened for William. Uh, so, well, there is only one potential mistake that people make when pronouncing my name, is they were confused about the order. They will say Liang Yu Chao first, um, instead of saying my given name first. Uh, this is all about me. And if you guys are interested in learning Chinese characters or, or how to pronounce them, how to write them, just let me know. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone. So in today's video, I'm gonna be saying what my name is, the meaning behind my name, how to pronounce and write my name in my mother tongue language. And last but not least, some of the commonly wrong ways to pronounce my name. So my name is Prajani Subapalin and Prajani means wisdom but the name Prajani is actually a well-known goddess's name who is the goddess of education, um, intellect and wisdom and she is a very well-known goddess in our Hindu culture. So since my name is one of her names, the meaning behind my name is wisdom. 
So my mother tongue language is Tamil. So this is how you would write my name in my mother tongue language. But although in English, my name is Prajani, pronounced as Prajani, in Tamil, my name is pronounced as Purajani. But although in English, the format is first name and then last name, the format is exact same in my mother tongue language as well. The last name is followed by the first name. Um, there are many different ways to pronounce my name and some people tend to condense my name in a short way or short form to make it easier for them to say it. So a lot of people tend to shorten my name as PJ or Praj so that it's easier for them to say it. And some people tend to pronounce my name as Prayani or Prajani which are both incorrect forms of my name. The correct way and correct form to pronounce my name is actually Prajani and my full name is Prajani Suvapalan. So that's the end of my video and I would like to thank everyone for watching this video and I would like to thank everyone for taking the effort to pronounce my name the correct way. Thank you for watching this video. Hello, my name is Shri Patel. In this video, I will be explaining what my name is, what it means, and how to correctly pronounce it. Uh, so this is how my name is spelled in English, Shri Patel, and this is how you write my name in Gujarati. In my mother language and um, my name is or Indian origin and it means uh, merit worth and good fortune there are two common ways that people mispronounce my name and uh, one of the uh, ways that they pronounce my name is that uh, they replace my name with a Canadian name Trey so instead of S-H-R-E-Y they ignore the S-H and they say T-R-E-Y Trey and uh, second most common ways that they mispronounce my name is that uh, they ignore the letter R and they call me Shay. So these are the two most common ways people mispronounce my name. Uh, thank you for watching the video and thank you for trying to pronounce my name properly. Thanks. Hello. So my name is Valentina Arguegis. Um a lot of people, most people don't really mess up my first name, except for the V part, because I speak Spanish and our V's sound like V's. So when I'm ordering a drink at Starbucks, let's say, a lot of people think I say Bal, because I, I shorten my name often. So, and I received my drink with a B-A-L on it. <laughs> but yeah, that's where a lot of people have a miscommunication with my, name, my first name. As for my last name, a lot of people cannot pronounce it for some reason. Um, and so a lot of English speakers pronounce it as Arguelles, but those who speak Spanish or know of the language know that when they see a double L, it makes a J sound. So in reality, you say my last name as Arguelles, Arguelles, instead of Arguelles. Um, that's a pr proper pronunciation of my name. Um, so my name is Valentina Arguelles. And yeah, that's how you say my name. Hello, my name is Ivan Zhang and I'm from China. Uh, this is my name written in English and in Mandarin Chinese. As you know, the Chinese usually write their last name before their first name. So these characters represent my last name Zhang and these two characters together as my name Yifan. The literal meaning of these two characters is one subvolt, but it's chosen from a Chinese idiom, so the meaning could be a little different. It means mm, all the best as a wish as a good wish from parents to me. So, although I believe that this word would be relatively easy to pronounce, but there's still a common mistake were made by my friends. Uh, that is, they tend to call me Ivan in, uh, Ivan instead of Ivan. As you can see, my name is made up of two characters, so it should be two separate words, E and Fan, instead of Ivan as one word. So, if you can speak my name correctly, I will really appreciate that. So, thank you for your watching. Hello everyone, I hope everyone's having a good day. 
So today I just wanted to talk about uh, my name and the meaning behind my name, followed by um, some mispronunciations that occur in my name. And I also wanted to add another new twist and just kind of just say a couple nicknames people just call me um, and here in the present. Um, so first, so here at the top, as you can see, is my name in English. So my name is pronounced Legendin and my last name is pronounced Jerakumar. So it goes Legendin Jerakumar. And here below is my name in Tamil. So here in Tamil, my name is pronounced Legendin. And here is my last name and it's pronounced Jerakumar. So as you can see, it's the same as here in Canada when it goes by first name, last name. Here it also goes first name and last name. Um, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is the meaning behind my name. So the meaning behind my name in the Hindu culture, um, the first meaning comes from the first part of my first name. So legend, which derives from the Tamil word, uh, Tamil word uh, lime, which means rhythm in English. Another meaning um, derives from story of God in which one of his reincarnation reincarnation names was interestingly my name legend so that's a cool fact so one meaning is rhythm and the second meaning is the name of one um when the god reincarnated one of his lives his name was legend um some mispronunciations that occur in my name so one common one is when they pronounce it as legend don but usually we pronounce it as a den so you, the O doesn't um, the O doesn't make a sound. It usually makes an E sound. So it goes legenden. Um, and another common mistake is people surprisingly think it's a French name. So sometimes they pronounce it as legendon, but in, that's not the case. And my name is pronounced as legenden. And lastly, uh, some nicknames people call me by is legend usually because they can't pronounce my full name. So they cut it short and just call it legend. And um, another common childhood nickname I have is Legia. Um, so if you guys can't pronounce my name, feel free to call me legend or Legia. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Hi, this is my video for the Say My Name project for Ant AO2. So my name is Marhama Sohail. That is a traditional Arabic name. Um, so I have it written in Arabic, but because I'm from Pakistan, my name is also written in Urdu and it's on the back and I will go to that in a little bit. So in Arabic, it's Marhama Tu Sohail. The Tu is just to differentiate between girls' names and other words that might end in an uh sound. However, when speaking, we always cut the Tu off. So it still remains Marhama. It still has this end. Now, what does my name mean? So, in the context of the Quran, and that's the only place you'll really find my name, um, it means compassion. My first name means compassion. My last name is my father's first name. Um, it's not in the Quran, but it means uh, noble, glorious, and handsome, and as well as powerful. So, now in Urdu, it's Marhama Sohail. Urdu is a script that came from Arabic, which is why it can be written in Urdu and still look relatively the same. However, it doesn't have indicative uh, uh, symbols like Arabic does, and it doesn't have the tu sound at the end because in Arabic and Urdu we have no such grammatical rule for a girl's name or any name for that fact. Um, so it's Marhama Sohail. So common mispronunciations of my name, or rather common mistakes of my name that I found, is that people tend to uh, emphasize a syllable in my name. So they go Marhama, they go Marhama, or Marhama, so it's usually this middle one. They also extend the last one, so they go Marhama. Um, for my last name, I haven't actually found any mistakes. I've never really heard someone say it wrong, but they always say it's Sohail, or they say Suhail, which is fine too. It's actually another way to pronounce it, so it doesn't matter about that. But my first name is what people usually get wrong. As for common mispronunciations, I've heard Marhaman, um, maybe because the H looks like an N, I, I don't really know. Um, I've heard Mohammed because I find that people's brains try to correct them into a more traditional Arabic name. I've heard Marhamid, which is a, a combination between Marhama and Mohammed. Uh, I've heard Marimara, that one's a little strange. Um, but my name is Marhama Sohail. Thank you for learning how to say my name. Bye. Hello everyone. Today I will be discussing the meaning of my name, the origin, and common ways that it is mispronounced. So firstly, my name is Koshik Paul, and above is how to write it in my mother tongue, which is Bengali, and below that is obviously English. So some of the common ways that people mispronounce my name would be Koshik or Kosh or Kaushik. 
and I believe that the W in my name does tend to throw people off regarding the pronunciation. So the meaning behind my name actually stems from Indian derivation, and simply put, it means、uh, love and affection. But when my parents gave me this name,、uh, it was linked to a Hindu deity named Kaushik, and this、uh, deity was the friend of all, or the friend of the universe, and that is the meaning behind my name. Thank you for watching this video.、Uh, I hope you have a great day. We'll be right back.